Hello, this is Reza Rat from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to talk about Button Slicer in Power BI Desktop, a new visual that you can uh, use to enhance your visualization and your report layout in Power BI. Let's go and check it out. Okay, now I can explain to you how to use this visual, but before explaining that, uh, you need to first uh, enable this, because right now at this time of uh, creating this video, this visual is still preview. To enable it, you go to the file, options and settings, options, and then uh, under the preview features tab, which usually have all the uh, new features uh, that becomes available in Power BI, under that tab, there are many options. One of those options is button slicer visual. You go and select that. Then you click on OK, you close your Power BI desktop and open it. Uh, and then you would be able to go to the visual section. And under the visual section, you would be able to see this new button slicer available. So quite simple to use. I'm going to show you how we can use this. As you can see here, I have a, uh, I added this first, then I'm going to add a field. So I have my adventure work sample data set. I'll drag and drop English education here. This automatically comes as a uh, tile visual first, then I'll go to the format options. Under more options, I can actually change the shape here. Um, the shape is what we show as each uh, tile. So this can be rectangle or it can be a uh, snip tab or uh, it can be rectangled rounded, which I can choose how much I want this to be rounded. Uh, the layout is also something you can control at the moment. This is a grid, three columns, two rows or whatever. You can change that to be grid, but change the number of rows and columns, or I can change it to be a single row. For example, I can say this is single row five columns. So it would look like this, uh, which may not look like it just the text itself, but I'm going to add an image. Another interesting thing about this visual is that you can add an image, an image that has a, a, an image coming from a field. And that basically should be a field like this field you see here. Uh, which I have the link to the image file in this. So what I can do is I can go to the format of that visual again. Um, and instead of layout, I'll go to the image this time. And under the image, I can add a data field. And this time that data field for me is education image. And as soon as I select it, you see that this becomes uh, different. Let me close these a little bit so that you can see it better. So you can see that as soon as I change that, this shows those images. Uh, and I can also change the way that I want the image to be set. Do I want it to be fit, uh, normal, fill, uh, or I can change the position of that. I can say, for example, I want the image to be on the left hand side of this, which usually this works better for a uh, vertical list. So I'm leaving it as top. The next thing you can do here, in addition to setting the image, is that you can also have a label, like some more explanation underneath this. The actual thing is like the value. Now the label is um, some more details about it. For example, for each of these categories, you might have more details. Or if you don't have details, you might want to generate that kind of information. So what I have done is I have created a measure here. This measure is basically uh, getting the sales amount. And what I'm doing is I'm using a format function to format it as a text. That is one of the best practices when you want to show it in a text visual like this, text-based visual like this, because then you don't have to go to the visual level format. So then in the visual itself, I can go to the format of the visual. And under the format, this would be under callout value. The actual callout value, the value section of it is these values. You see bachelor, graduate, degree, high, high school. And then we have the label section. And so for the label section, I can turn it on and then add the data field. And I set this to be that measure. And as soon as I add it, you can see that these values are now added in my visual right under the right under those values. Um, so this is basically how 
it works uh, for those labels you can then change the formatting of that make the font size bigger smaller another important thing which you probably noticed here is that there is something called a state a state is what happens on this visual in terms of formatting when you do an action that uh, cause some kind of interaction with this visual there is a there's there are four states default is what shows in the default then you have a hover state when you hover on these by most uh, when you click on it or press that is one state when you select that is another state for example you might press one but you might have two others selected already um, so based on these you can choose what happens for example if i want to change um, what happens when it is pressed i can click on press and then i can say at the press level at the press state i want the value to have the color white because for example background is black right so then when i click on this you see that it becomes white you can set this for all of the settings formatting options for each of those for example for the uh, for, for each of these you might go and choose for example different image um, um, yeah, let's say different image settings not different image different image settings different configuration for each of these and, and based on that this works with that uh, another thing to note is that this is uh, like a normal visual so anything you have in normal visual uh, still works here we have properties such as tooltip background uh, adding shadows to the items things like that you can have a report page tooltip added to this this is also like a normal slicer so everything that we do have in a slicer settings is available here such as multi-select single select those options to show you an example of this in real situation this is uh, one example of this so i have a page here where uh, i have this slicer added with a little bit extra formatting such as mm, shadow and background uh, and when i click on any of these this is a slicer by each click action here it is actually filtering the data in my report as you can see uh, and of course not only that i've added a uh, a tooltip that when i hover on this it shows me that tooltip as well like a normal visual now uh, how to create that tooltip i have explained that in another video you can go and check it out so that's it about uh, button slicer visual in power bi it's like a normal visual you have the normal visual configuration plus this is a slicer mm, you have all the capabilities of controlling uh, multi-select single select plus these new functionalities of uh, this button slicer which is adding image uh, adding things such as the uh, label underneath and controlling the state and playing with those state and formatting all together um, please go ahead and use this visual and let me know uh, what type of interesting visuals you create using that in power bi uh, if you like this video go ahead and subscribe into our youtube channel uh, we have weekly videos on power bi and microsoft fabric until the next video bye